Hi. So for this question then, we were given this integral and it was equal to natural log of 7 and asked to f express a in terms of the natural log of k. So where k was a value to be found. So in order to do this, what I would want to do then is just evaluate this integral obviously first. And I, I, I divide both of these two top terms by t. So what we've got then is the integral going from a to 2a of t divided by t, which is 1, and then plus 1 divided by t, 1 over t. Don't forget we've got a couple of terms here, so we need to put that in brackets, and we're integrating it all with respect to t. So we can integrate each of these terms. The integral of 1 is just going to be t, and the integral of 1 over t, well, that's going to be the natural log of t. We don't need to put this in mod signs because we're told that a is going to be a positive constant. So that would mean that the t is also going to be positive when it comes to substituting values of a into here. Remember the limits go from a to 2a. So if we substitute our values in 2a first, we're going to have 2a here and then plus the natural log of 2a. And then we would subtract what we get when we substitute the a in. So we're going to have a plus the natural log of a. And then cleaning this up, we're going to have 2a minus the a, which is going to leave us with a. And then you've got the natural log of 2a minus the natural log of a. So that's going to be by the subtraction rule of logs, the same as the natural log of 2a divided by a. Okay, so I hope you're familiar with that rule. The a's cancel, and that just leaves us with the natural log of 2 there. So if we just come down here, now we can finish this off. We've therefore got the natural log of 7 here on the left hand side equals a plus the natural log of 2 and then all I've got to do is subtract the natural log of 2 from both sides and that will give us a. a as being the natural log of 7 minus the natural log of 2 and again we can use the subtraction rule here for logs and that's going to be the natural log of 7 over 2. Now, this is identical to the form we had to show for A, and that's the natural log of a constant K. So we can just say that where K is equal to 7 over 2. And there you go.